Hey freediving family, well it's been quite an eventful week. I mean for starters I had a PB dive to 106 meters, but it wasn't exactly a super clean PB. I was pretty hypoxic on the surface, it was, it was a dirty PB. <laughs> but uh, it was a PB nonetheless, and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I mean, besides that, we've had a lot of other athletes arrive, so like everyone now is coming to the island, a lot of the sort of familiar faces in freediving are here. What we do a lot at these freediving competitions is a lot of dinners and stuff, you know, we all gather at each other's houses, we all go out to restaurants, we eat together, it's a super social occasion, because the thing is, is that even though we're all competitors, we're also all really good friends, and we only see each other a few times of the year, so that's been a lot of fun. But anyway, this is what I've been up to for the week, we're going back in time, so I'll go back to the start of the week, and I'll lead you through it. Uh, so we're here with the rest of the Australian divers. We've got Trista and Amber again. Amber Burke, Australian record holder. Hello. Um, we're about to go for um, a little fun dive just off West End, not West Bay. There are two different places, same kind of name. And we haven't dove there before, so it's going to be kind of fun. And at the moment, I have a little bit of house envy, because look at their house. Their house is much better than my house. Close to the shore, there's all this seagrass. But then it starts to die off as we get to the actual reef further out. I've been so impressed by the reef in Rotan. It seems like you can jump into the water anywhere on the island and stumble upon some incredible coral reef. And here Amber swims along, trying to be elegant, fluttering her little feet, swimming, swimming, swimming with the fishies. I always get asked how we stay at the bottom, and the answer is negative buoyancy. We're just deep enough that our bodies are negatively buoyant. Aaron has become a real freediver, and I'm super proud. And Adam has found himself some little caves to swim through. Oh, there he is again. Uh, now we're about to have our post-dive meal, which is always essential. Trista did not come for a dive because, um, why was that Trista? I got seasick today. <laughs> a seasick free diver. Hello. Mexican food. Yum, 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 yum. Arriba. A what? Arriba. <laughs> <laughs> this is West End. This is like the uh, main tourist drag of uh, Roatan, I suppose. So we're all like uh, the bars and the restaurants and all the hot chicks hang out. What? <laughs> Baby, what are we doing? Can you guys get one? Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Another rest day activity. Ah! <laughs> How was it? Scary. What? Scary. <laughs> okay, the only thing, please, don't get too close to that boy. He's single, okay? Ah! <laughs> 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 Spread your legs. Spread your legs, Dad. Open your legs, buddy. Open your legs. Oh, that. Don't, 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 get, don't get too close to him, man. <laughs> This is a good time. Alright, lean all the way back. Let go your hands. Let go your hands. Let go all the way. Woo! Ride him, Matty. Ride him. You go riding on the horses. <laughs> Zip lining was so much fun, so much fun. Probably gonna come back and do it again. So, status update. Um, my last dive was 102 meters and it was by far the easiest dive deeper than 100 meters I've ever done, so it felt really, really good. Uh, but then that night after the dive, which was two days ago, uh, I got like a little bit, uh, I, I ate something and I started to get a little bit sick. So uh, I've been um, doing some not so solid over the last few days and feeling a little bit weak and feverish so it's just um, 
it's super frustrating when you're on such a good roll and when you're forced to take rest days it, it just adds this horrible pressure and it's not super good to have that kind of pressure in the lead up to a competition you know you want to just progress at your own pace and with momentum um, and you know I, I, I'm all about taking rest days <laughs> but it's it's always different when you choose to take a rest day and when you're forced to take a rest day so um, if I'm feeling much better tonight it's been I've had two days off um, so if, if I wake up tomorrow morning feeling great then I'm gonna go and do my dive um, which will be a PV. Also, in an attempt to heal faster, I shaved a moustache because moustaches are very powerful. Very powerful. Only the most powerful men have moustaches. So I did that in an effort to get better faster. <laughs> um, it, it's not like she's been taking care of me at all. She hasn't been like, you know, making me lunch and dinner and taking care of me. She hasn't been doing that at all. I started the session by relaxing in the water and then my usual 25 meter warm up. Then I relaxed on the platform waiting for my turn to dive. When it's my turn I go. The descent felt a little bit sloppy to me and I wasn't super comfortable going down. I purposefully underbreathed for this dive, so I kept more CO2 than I needed in my body and it brought on some early contractions and also a lot of narcosis due to the high amount of CO2. I wasn't at all ready for that level of narcosis and I was more narcs than I've ever been on any other dive in my life. As I was surfacing I got a little bit lost and I wasn't quite sure how far the surface was away from me. It was mostly confusion due to the narcosis. Then Erin stopped filming so she could scream at me to breathe on the surface. I recovered on my own, but only just. I was very, very much on the edge. So I did my dive today, 106 meters. It was a PB, so that's pretty exciting. But it wasn't the best dive. Uh, I was pretty hypoxic on the surface. Um, I mean, I recovered on my own without anyone's assistant, assistance, but I was a little bit like, I was, you know, on the edge of, uh, of being unconscious. So that's not good. It's not. Uh, good when you reach your body's limit like that, but um, I'm still happy that I did the dive, you know? PB is a PB, I suppose. Maybe. <laughs> it's put me in a weird position because I would have really liked to go deeper, and also it's the first dive ever with my monofin that I've been hypoxic like that, you know? Usually I'm pretty strong coming up, but uh, the dive itself wasn't great. There were a few sort of technical issues that went wrong, so... You know, like over over the course of a hundred or so meters, you know, little little imperfections in technique or little uh, mistakes they add up and they have a big toll. So, I mean, ideally, I would like to do the dive again and do it clean uh, before I progress on to deeper depths. But um, that's just the name of the game. Sometimes, you know, I wasn't actually super happy with the dive at all. You know, um, it's not it's not a fun feeling to be hypoxic and. Uh, it's n kind of new for me, as in like I, I, I'm not, I don't regularly get hypoxic in my dives. It's not something, I mean, you know, because I'm a, I suppose I, I like to think of myself as a fairly conservative diver, so I don't really push myself to that point uh, often. <laughs> so it's not a great feeling, and uh, I was a little bit upset after the dive, you know. I kind, I kind of felt like it was a fail. Even though it was a PB, I felt like it was a failed dive. I'm just lucky that I had the world's best coach with me to yell at me to breathe and to make sure I recovered fine. Yes. Number one coach. Number one. There's this really cool yacht that's been moored in the middle of a bay with a rope swing on it and I needed to get out of my head a little bit so we went for a bit of a play. So after a little play on the yacht, we've come for a wonderful, I don't know, sunset experience. Look at us. Sun, sun Just taking in the sunset. Thanks for watching Freediving Family. I'll definitely be putting up videos of the competition itself 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if this is what you're interested in if you're interested in the wacky world of freediving and if you did like the video make sure you leave a like thanks guys I'll see you in the water somewhere